Hi everyone. If you are looking for a regular CAT level daily routine and you're targeting 99 plus percentile, you are absolutely in the right place. I'm Shubham Branka and I'm Calcutta alumnus and a prep zone mentor. I mentor students every year and help them to reach their dream B schools. And I'm really, really excited to bring before you an exclusive CAT level LRDA set series on a regular basis. I sense that there are a lot of students who are unable to get CAT level LRDA sets and hence I bring in front of you this best LRDA set series. Okay. And well, who knows, you may end up getting a similar kind of set on your DD. Okay. So before I start, uh, let me just take a moment to tell you that we are not just limited to LRDI. We have already started the daily targets for RC, QA Challenger, and LRDI sets on our Facebook group, Telegram channel. So if you want to receive these sets exclusively in your inbox on a daily basis, you can ping us on this number, 811 and you will start receiving all of these sets on a daily basis at absolutely no cost in your inbox. With this, uh, this is what we guys are. We try to help students every year. And this is a hall of fame of students who have raised their bar right from 75 to 80 percentile to say 99, 99.5 percentile with regular interaction with the mentors an exclusive personalized mentorship and constant work throughout the entire preparation journey. With this, let's get started. Before we start solving this LRDS set series, let me take a moment to tell you the rules of the LRDS set series so that you guys get the maximum benefit. First, this is set number 40, which means that I have already shared 39 sets of CAT level before this. So if you are new to this series, if you are new to the channel, step one, subscribe to the channel so that you you keep on receiving these sets on a daily basis. Step two, finish the past 39 sets as soon as possible and keep on getting and solving this LRDA set on a daily basis with me. Step number third, pause the video, attempt the set, solve the set, find the answer, measure the time taken and comment three things. First, what was your answer? Second, the time taken and third, the major learning. And if you're not able to solve it, do let me know in the comment section that why is it that you were not able to solve it? Only if you mention it to me, only then I can maybe come up with the next video to help figure out how can you start thinking better, okay? So make it a habit without fail, whether you're able to solve or you're not able to solve, just comment in the comment section, the answer, time taken, major learning. And if you're not able to solve it, why is it that you were not able to solve it, okay? So with this, let's get started. And uh, once you attempt the set, do watch the entire video to understand how do we solve sets on a faster level in CAT exam, okay? This is a very great set, absolutely up to the CAT level. So the question says, five persons, Krish, Manan, Nareen, Oswan, and Prem. Okay, so see, first learning. While reading the question, I will not even waste two, three seconds to read the name. I will just browse through it. Okay, I have five persons. They visit five countries. I will not even go read the names of the countries such that each person visited exactly four countries. Okay, then further, each country has a different capital city. Okay, from amongst, okay, there's some spacing issue here, but these are the five capital cities, which means each of these countries have to be mapped with a capital city, which essentially means that this is a three dimension tabular arrangement set. Okay, I'll have to create a table to accommodate three dimension, the person, the capital city and the country of which belongs to that capital city. And any person who visited a country definitely visited its capital city. Okay. Also, we are, we are given with some four or five information and some questions are asked. Okay. Which brings me to the conclusion that the way in which I have to figure out the set is I have to make a table. I have to map that which person visited which country. And what is the capital city of that country? Okay, so it's a three dimension set. So step number one, the learning number one is I will not, I will, the first of all, I'll start making a table. Okay, that okay. The table should be K M N O P. I will just use the first letter to avoid writing the complex names in exam. And I will have enough space on my plate. So say this is K, then maybe M, then maybe N, O, and then P, right? These are the five persons I have. Now, the information gives me uh, 
some facts about who visited which city, who did not visit which city, etc., etc. That we will have a look at very shortly. Okay? But let me just make it simple. And please excuse my handwriting. It gets very bad while I use this pad, this tablet. Okay. So this is how you will make a table, right? Always make a very clean table, and the neatness will really help you. And these are the five persons, right? And they visited five different cities, right? Which means I have to have countries here. Say whatever be the countries, there has to be different columns of countries, and then capital city, right? Every country has a capital city. So in the first column, I must have capital city. And because we have five countries, we will make five columns against every one, right? So column number one, column number two, column number three. I hope this is clear. Meanwhile, if you find any issue with my explanation, do let me know in the comment section so that I will be able to reply to your question. One, two, three, four, and this is the fifth one, right? So this is how I make a table. So any student who is at a very basic level, even you should be able to understand how do I form tables, right? And I know my countries are, countries are, these are my five countries. So instead of writing full thing, I will just use the last column to put all the possible values. So values could be F, A, B, G, and K, right? Hope this is clear. F is of uh, Fredonia, A is Aldoria, B is Borginia, G is Glovania, and K is Kashfar. And capital city is M E, I'll denote it with M, then C, which is Coruscant, then Porbal, P, Toyoland, sorry, Toyland, T, and Woodcrest, W. Okay. So that I will just use the first letter and avoid all the complications. See, all of it can be done in 15 seconds. I'm taking time so that everyone is on the same page. Okay. Now let's start reading the information. Any person who visited a country definitely visited its capital city, which means I will have a one-on-one -on -one mapping of capital and country. Then it says that every person visited exactly four countries, right? Which means every person must have four ticks. So out of five countries, every person is visiting exactly four countries, which means every person will not be visiting exactly one country, which essentially means that every person will have one cross in their entire row. And there has to be four ticks, right? So four ticks and one cross has to be there. Clear? Now the first information says for any pair of persons, the number of countries that both of them visited was at most three. Fair? So what it says is, let's say for example, K and M. They can visit a max of three countries, which means if K is visiting, say, one, two, and three, and four, because he has to visit four countries, the Second person M, he cannot visit the same four countries. Maximum he can visit the three same countries, right? Which means if he's not visiting four same countries, which means their cross cannot be same, right? It essentially means that if K is not visiting, say, country number one, M has to visit country number one, right? Which means for every country, I can have only one person who is not visiting that country. Because if I have two person who is not visiting that country, then the other four entries have to be tick and that is not possible as per my first rule. Okay. Then information number two says that Narain, okay, Narain, he visited Bluvania, but he did not visit Orbel. Okay. So even before moving, moving forward, I will at least put all the columns here. Okay. Let me at least put all the information here. So information is what? Say K, B, A, F, and G, right? So... The countries are, say, Kashfur, okay? Or maybe instead of countries, I will just put all the capital city, right? Because Narain visited Bluvania, but he did not visit Porbal. So I know that Narain has not visited Porbal, right? And Porbal is a capital city. So maybe I'll put all the capital cities here. Say M, C, P, I can start with either of these. The reason I'm starting with putting capital city is because in the first in point number two, it is given to me that Narain is not visiting Porbal city, right? Which means Narain and Porbal, it has to be a cross, which means Narain has to visit the remaining four countries. I know this information and hence I have put it. Okay. And it says that Narain is not visiting Porbal, but Narain is visiting Glovania, right? Which means Glovania cannot be 
the country or the capital city of Porbel because if we, if I have uh, Glovania here, then Narain cannot visit it. But Narain is visiting Glovania, so I cannot have G here. I will have a cross again. G, okay, I've incorporated this information. Then, while both Krish and Oswald visited Toyland, okay. So Krish and Oswald visited Toyland, okay. So I will have a tick here, and against Krish also I will have a tick here, right? See again, Toyland is a capital city, so I have put the capital city and not the countries, and I will derive countries which map to these capital cities. I've used information number two as well. Then Oswald visited Fredonia. Oswald visited Fredonia, right? But I don't know where exactly is Fredonia. See, one thing that I know for sure is if Narin is not visiting the country with capital city P, then others have to visit it, right? So I must have a tick, 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 tick here, right? That has to be the case because we have already discussed that for a country, I can only have one cross, okay? It says Oswald visited Fredania. I don't know where do I put Fredania currently because I don't know Fredania key capital KI. So I'm holding on to this information whose capital city is not for well, okay? So I know for sure ki yaha pe to nahi hai Fredonia. So I can't have an F here, right? This is for sure. While the capital city of Borjania is not Woodcrest, okay, which means I can't have a B here as well, okay. In both, I'm I'm holding on to this information third because I haven't used it as of now. The next thing is, both Kresh and Prem visited Woodcrest. Okay, so K visited Woodcrest. Woodcrest is again a capital city, right? So K and P they visited Woodcrest. Okay, great. Then, while both Manan and Narain visited Bochania, okay, great. So, Narain and, uh, sorry, Manan and Narain, they visited Bochania. Okay. Again, I'm holding on to this information because I don't know where exactly can Bochania lie, right? Narain and uh, Manan, right? These two people have visited a particular city. I at least know for sure that because Narain is visiting Borjania, I cannot have Borjania, right? So the only option for me here is G can't be there, F can't be there, B can't be there. So I can have either A or K here, right? I don't know which of these uh, country will I have here, but I can have either A or K. Let's look at the last thing. Prem visited Toyland, okay? Prem also visited Toyland, okay? So I will have to have a cross stick here. But he did not visit Kashwar. That, okay. First of all, if Prem is visiting Toyland, which means Toyland, the only person who cannot visit Toyland is this person, Manan, which means other places have to be a tick here, right? Other places are tick here. Again, for O, the only places left is W. So I will not have a tick here, right? Then let's look at other information. I already have a cross here, which means I must have a tick here. Now it says that Prem did not visit Kashwar. Prem did not visit Kashwar, the capital city of which is not. Just a minute. I'm not able to see this information. Okay. Which is not present, right? So it says he, K is not here, right? K is not here. So Prem visited Toyland, but he did not visit Kashwar. Prem did not visit Kashwar. Okay. Now Prem is not visiting either M or C, right? And it says, that uh, he did not visit Kashwar, the capital city of which is not crucent, which means I must have Kashwar either here or here, right? And it, and it says that Kashwar cannot be here because it is not, it does not have crucent as its capital city, which means I must have Kashwar here, right? That's the only possible way. And I must have a cross here because Prem is not visiting Kashwar, which means it has to be tick and it has to be cross. So I take here. So I've filled the entire table. Now the only thing that is left is. See, G, F, B is already done. K can't be there, so I can only have an A here. If I have A here, K here, let's see what other information is left now. Okay, B can't be here, so B can be here. K can't be here, K can be. Okay, K is already used. Great, A is used and K is used. B, G and F are left. I have already used last information also, right? Now let me go back. It says both Manan and Narain visited Borjania, right? Narain is visiting Borjania, so Narain is not visiting A, which makes sense here. And Manan is not visiting this place, T, which means I can't have Borjani here, right? Because Manan is visiting Borjania. 
right? So which means Manan is visiting Bojania, so I can't have Bojania here. Which means the only place for Bojania has to be this if I have a B here, right? So A B A. The only place left is F and J. Let's see. Now it says Narain visited Glovania, right? Narain has visited Glovania. Okay. He has anyways visited both of these places, so I can't be sure, but he did not visit for well, okay. Fair. So now let's see which information is left regarding F and G, right? I need to figure out F, F and G. F is Fredonia and G is Glovania. So let's see which information talks about these two countries. Uh, F and G, correct. So Narain visited Bluvania. Narain is visiting Bluvania, which makes sense. And uh, okay, but it did not visit Forbel while both Krish and Oil visited. So I've already used. Okay, Oswald visited Fredonia. Okay, great. So one information that I have is Oswald has visited Fredonia, right? Which means if Oswald is not visiting this place, then this can't be F. So the only possibility for F has to be this, which means this place has to be G. Now, now I have filled the entire table with all the information that is given to me. Right? So how do you make sure that you've used all the information? You keep on noting it down that you have used information number one, two, four, whatever information you have not used, you keep on coming to that information unless you fill the entire table. So now I've used the entire table. I'll go back to my question. Which country did Krish not visit? So Krish did not visit country B. The answer has to be C. What is the capital city of F? Capital city of uh, F has to be T, Tolling. Okay, so B. Which city did Oswald not visit? Oswald is not visiting the city W. Okay, so A. Last, which of the following countries did all K, M, and N visit? K, M, and N, they are visiting country K and country G. So K or G has to be my answer. K is not given, so answer has to be G. So now, Answer of the set is C, B, A, B. A very great set, but if, and this clears a lot of concept. If you are able to understand this, you're able to process this, you should be able to solve pretty much all the kinds of tabular arrangement sets. And these are the kind of sets that we'll cover as a part of our personalized mentorship batches as well. Okay. So I hope you like this set. And if there is any feedback or anything you have, you want to ask me, feel free to ping me on this given number and we'll be happy to find you. Okay. Great guys. I'll see you soon.